Hey guys, welcome to episode 45 of the show for gamers. Uh, Beatles Rock Band. See, when I was growing up, I didn't know crap about the Beatles, so hi kitten. I didn't know crap about the Beatles, so it was pretty freaking um, educational for me. Oh, shush, come here. Oh, come here. Yeah, it was pretty educational for me to see this game because there's so much extra content in it about the Beatles, like videos and stuff and uh basically you get pictures and attached with the pictures as bios <sighs> attached with the pictures as bios um you get a picture for every five stars you get on each song so if there's just you know song you're not doing too good with you can just get better and then you unlock that and for collecting the pictures you start unlocking actual videos of the beatles and there's uncut footage there's um um there's interviews and stuff. It's really sweet. It's very educational. Like it'll go into detail. Like here's what you know John was doing at this time. Here's what you know Ringo said this, and this is where they got the song title. Just it's really educational. So I mean, if you're not a Beatles fan, it's awesome to get. Like if you're interested in the Beatles, I recommend it. This car's up here. I'm on my porch, by the way. Um, anyway, and if you're a Beatles fan, I think you're gonna love it. I mean. I, again, I never really listened to the Beatles very much, and I listened to this, and I was like, wow, I totally understand why they're one of the greatest bands ever, because the music in this game is amazing. Um, they refer to star power as Beatlemania. That's what I noticed, too. The first three chapters are basically the beginning of the Beatles' career, and that's what the story is. It goes right through the career. But I was really annoyed. Like, I like the songs, but I was really annoyed with the first three chapters, because it's the time period where these young girls are just screaming at the top of the lungs for the Beatles, and I'm playing the song, and the crowds are just intense. And then it switches, like, you know, halfway through the story, where they're recording at Abbey Road and stuff, you know, and boom, it goes from them just being screamed at to them, like, being older guys and writing these, in my opinion, better songs. Um, and the other thing they did, too, is in that stuff, like Yellow Submarine's a great example, it starts out with them in the studio, and as you play the song, like, seaweed and stuff starts growing up out of the floor, and out of, out of nowhere, they're in the ocean, and they're, like, they're, like, marching through, um, seaweed, and there's fish going around, there's a yellow submarine, shows them in the submarine, and, like, there's visual elements that they add to, like, those later songs, like, I can't remember, um, the song something, there's, like, autumn, it's, like, all red, and there's, like, autumn leaves falling down, and they're on a hillside, and... It's really cool to see all those type of visual different things. It's a bug. So that's cool. Um, a little change they made with the drums is in Rock Band. Um, you basically, before you, there was like a little section where you just played whatever you wanted. And then you hit green and then, boom, Star Power activated. And I always didn't like that because, I don't know, it was like a freestyle thing. And if I freestyled, it didn't sound like anything really. So I would usually just keep doing whatever, you know, was before that section. Well, in this one, they keep it like that, and then to activate your star power, just a green note, just a special green note pops in, and you hit it, and it activates star power. So, I like that, personally. It's it's easier, and it keeps the song flowing better. Another thing, if you screw up in the song, there's no... The song just goes silent. So, if you're playing good, you get to hear the song. If you don't, you don't. But they're not, like, destroying what the song sounds like with weird abstract noises or anything like that. So, I mean, I think that's pretty decent, pretty cool. Um, apparently there's going to be downloadable content, like full albums, and that's the only complaint I have for the game is I want more songs. I mean, the songs are so great in this. I wish I, I wish everything the Beatles ever wrote, I think, should eventually be downloadable content, in my opinion. So, yep. Uh, shush, kitten. She's so annoying sometimes. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, Beatles Rock Band, giving it a nice 8 out of 10. It's really good. You guys should pick it up. 
especially if you already have Rock Band stuff, you can just buy the disc, you know. Um, coming up, we are going to be reviewing a Xbox Live Arcade game called Zombie Apocalypse, Halo, ODST, um, Darkest of Days, I finally got to rent that, I was like, there's one copy in my store, it really sucked. Um, and since the episode hat isn't here, as always, sometimes we forget it, and I didn't bring it to where I live, I'm going to do this old school style, like way back in the day when I came up with something off the top of my head, and so our next episode is going to be called Peacock Mirror, so you guys should check it out. Thanks to all the new subscribers, keep watching, I guess that's it. Alright, check out Beatles Rock Band, see you guys later.